Hey everybody, welcome to the Mark Parham Podcast. You can follow me online by typing in Mark Parham Podcast on Spotify. You can also follow me on Rumble and YouTube by typing in Mark Parham, and I should pop up. So I have a question. The election's coming up. It's 2024. Do you think that the Democrats are going to try to steal the election in 2024? I'm talking about when it's Joe Biden versus Donald Trump. Do you think the Democrats are going to um, use the same tactics that they used before, where all of a sudden there were uh, missing ballots and stuff that were found later on? And so, um, if you do, let me know in the comment section. Let me know in the comment section, and uh, just put a yes or a no in the comment section. And then also, if you can, please uh, give this video, a, please give this podcast a like, and uh, follow me if you can. Also, I want to talk about um, not just the election, but I want to talk about social media. Um, one of the things that I'm that I really like right now with social media is that a lot of um, I would say Republicans or just people who you know lean more to the right are actually creating their own platforms where people can speak out and talk about certain issues because you know I've noticed. I mean, even on some of my social media accounts, when you're on the mainstream account, social media, you know, platforms and stuff, you know, if you're talking about certain stuff, you know, sometimes your video will only get a few views. So if you're talking about, let's just say, a politician or somebody that uh, liberals don't like, you can get a ton of, you can get tons of uh, people clicking on your video, you can get a lot of views. But if you're speaking against you know, the liberal agenda, all of a sudden your video will get a few, you know, maybe 10 views or something like that. And so I've just noticed that. I've noticed that depending on what you're talking about, the views will increase or decrease. And so again, I, I'm really happy that uh, we have Rumble, we have all of these different platforms where people can, you know, express their opinion and don't have to worry about that. Because for so many years, people who didn't support this liberal agenda were basically shadow banned and just all types of stuff i mean was happening to people like that or you know being deplatformed and so i i I, you know seeing what's happening in tech right now i'm I'm very happy i'm very happy uh for what's going on in the open source community again i'm somebody that uses um artix linux on my personal computer and uh it's just amazing so i want to see more uh people who are conservative and left i mean right wing or right-leaning people start using uh, Linux because, you know, relying on Apple and Microsoft and, you know, some of these uh, companies, it's, it's it's not the best thing, especially if you are uh, a person where you're worried about your data, privacy, and things like that. I would tell anybody to look at Linux. I'll leave a, a link in the description. I use Artix Linux, but... I mean, you can use Ubuntu, there's, uh, I think there's Mint Linux or something like that, but there's so many other choices that are good for people who are, you know, first time users of Linux, but definitely start using Linux because uh, to me, it's better. You actually have control of your computer and you don't have to always, you know, give up your data every time. You know, if you look at iOS and some of these things, you have to always have a login and all this other stuff. It's a mess. So I'll leave some links in the description and, um, you know, in the comment section, just let me know how you feel.